Hi, I'm Jimmy Mayato, President and CEO of Compassion International. And for those of you that might not be aware, Compassion is a Christ-centered, church-driven, child-focused ministry whose mission is to release children from poverty in Jesus' name. And we strive to accomplish that mission through holistic child discipleship in the context of loving local churches and in partnership with caring supporters. And after nearly 70 years of service, we now have the privilege of ministering in 25 countries to 2.2 million children, ranging from prenatal all the way up to age 22 for those that stay with us through vocational training or university education. And today, I am so excited to help launch the Christian Collective for Social Innovation in partnership with our friends at Baylor University. And before I say anything more, I wanna first thank you for investing your time and talents with CCSI, and specifically to the 125 innovators and teams across 13 countries who presented their ideas and solutions during the recent pilot to address COVID-related educational issues in Central and South America. Thank you for your passion and your ongoing work to address those challenges. The work you are doing is nothing short of life-changing for children and youth who are in a very vulnerable season. Now next, let me tell you why I'm personally so passionate about innovation. While Compassion is deeply grateful for each and every one of the 2.2 million children currently in our care, we all know that there are hundreds of millions more living in desperate and unacceptable poverty all around our world today. And now, COVID is intensifying the situation further. The World Bank recently estimated that 97 million people were pushed back into poverty in 2020. And tragically, further increases are expected for the poorest and most fragile regions of the world. Compassion is compelled by a moral and a missional imperative to do more, and we are diligently working to expand our reach to reach more children and youth more quickly. And yet we know that won't happen by only doing more of what we've done in the past. And given the scale and the complexity of the global problem of poverty, we are facing a sobering reality. We know we will never gain the momentum needed to truly be relevant to the issue without significant ongoing innovation and invention. And I believe that each of you and this new innovation collective are strategically poised to make significant contributions in this space. In the same way that Compassion believes the pro that proximity of our local church partners on the front lines of poverty is our most valuable asset, we also believe that many of the best poverty alleviating solutions will come directly from frontline innovators like you. You've seen the challenges firsthand. You've lived many of them. Your hearts are moved with compassion for the needs of children in poverty, just like ours are. And you know what would be most effective in your local communities. And similarly, we also know that some of the precious children enrolled in Compassion's programs have been uniquely created by God to be the source of new thinking and innovation. In fact, you're gonna hear from one of them, Janeth, a bit later today. Within the CCSI framework, we plan to continually and comprehensively equip Compassion Youth as well as innovators from all around the globe, and we are so excited to see the future fruit of that investment. And as I'm sure you know, innovation is contagious. Can't help it. We've already witnessed a surge of energy and new ideas from our pilots in Kenya and, and this initial test of CCSI. And as we continue to labor alongside innovators to help launch their solutions, we hope our actions will also demonstrate to youth, churches, and regional teams that this type of innovation isn't just possible, it's urgently needed and inherently important to organizations like Compassion. And lastly, I also want to affirm the Christ-centered nature of this innovation collective that recognizes the bold hope of our shared faith. As this community of uniquely gifted individuals places their best thinking in God's sovereign hands, I'm confident that He will bless and multiply your efforts, providing solutions to complex problems that are beyond our human capacity alone. So again, many thanks to you all, innovators, coaches, mentors, team members, church leaders, and national staff for joining us today. I pray 
that this is just the beginning of a long and fruitful journey together. Blessings to you.